man, oh man, do I have a lot of videos to make. A lot of catching up to do. I was off that week. I gotta talk about uh, Shining Fates. I gotta talk about Battle Styles, because pre-orders for that just closed. There's just so much going on. But Shining Fates has gotta be the most important thing to talk about. Whew. Yikes. Look, look, I know, okay, I know. I'm just saying, you don't exactly have the best track record when talking about Shining Fates. Uh, remember the whole uh, past couple videos? Kind of got railroaded on that stuff. You should probably, you know, just uh, probably just stop talking about it. Hey, you know, I, I was doing the best I could with the information I had. I tried to help people. Hey man, I'm just saying, you know, it was a bad look. Look, I understand, but I still gotta make videos, you know, people are expecting this kind of content from me. All right, I mean, if that's what you wanna do, uh, give the people what they want, I guess, you know? Give them the best content, the best knowledge you can provide in a most entertaining manner, possibly by doing short little skits in front of all of your videos. Oh, hey guys, Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. How we doing, guys? Uh, like I said, was off this past week, had uh, some stuff going on, so I had to deal with all that. But we are back making videos and here to talk about Shining Fates. A little late to the party, I know, but uh, I got a lot of good stuff I want to talk to you guys about. So, uh, most of you already know, Shining Fates and pretty much Pokemon for the definite future is going to be in waves. Uh, Shining Fates in particular is really hit hard in waves and they're, they're doing four waves across four months so we're going to go all the way into uh late spring early summer uh with shining fate stuff guys so just keep that in mind as we uh talk about some of the stuff here um we're less than a month away from the set releasing and you know uh, there's a lot of videos already out talking about it where uh, PTCG Radio just did a video about how there's stores in UK that are only getting 10 ETBs. Uh, you know, that's a case per store. That's that's crazy to think about. Um, the person that talked about this originally was actually Darium. I don't know if you guys know Darium. Darium's like an old guard, like highly respected dude in this like LGS sphere of Pokemon and Magic in particular. Um, he does a lot of pack openings now, but Obviously, he talks about and talks to a lot of distributors and stuff that's going on. And he was really the, the first person to even talk about the the percentages of waves and how we're going to be getting that kind of stuff. So uh, the stuff that I heard from my main distributor um, matches up with what he's been hearing. And uh, Danny Phantom was talked about doing the same thing and uh, the waves. So, um, you know, this is all just information that we're receiving. Obviously, not every distributor acts the same. Not everybody gets the same information. Uh, you know, allocations work differently and all that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind as we go through all this stuff. But uh, yeah, let's break it down. So ETBs, obviously the biggest thing that we want to think about just because they have the most packs. They got the promo. They got all the good stuff in them. So on release, we're getting 50% of that. Half. So we were already allocated down. And then now they're saying, oh, we gave you a number? Well, now you're only getting half of it on release. Okay, cool. Um, I was talking about Darium. He pre-ordered 500 ETBs. And he's getting half of that, so he's only getting 250. So he had to do some uh, work and all that stuff because, uh, you know, Waves is kind of a new thing. We don't really know how it happens. Um, allocations, you get told a number and then you, you know, expect that. And then when you bunch waves with that, it's kind of weird where you, it's, it's strung out everywhere. So ETBs are 50% on release. The next month, uh, there's a small percentage. They said like 10%, maybe five to 10, just because Battle Styles is coming on in March. So we got all that to worry about. Pokemon shift and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of stuff's going to be moving around in between that. And then uh, we're into April. April and May is looking like 15 to 20% in between all those. So whatever my initial number was is now being cut in half. And then 
that half is being cut into halves, into quarters. Math is hard, but yeah, so that's what we're hearing about ETBs. Um, the Pikachu V boxes, uh, we're hearing about 50-50 on that kind of stuff, so 50 on release, and then next month we're going to see the rest of that, and then maybe potentially uh, splitting that up again into half and half, so 25-25, so April and May is going to get a little sprinkling of the Pikachu V boxes. Um, the only thing that I heard should be full on release, we, you know, again, these are just ballpark numbers, we don't know until they start to ship it and get it from Pokemon, but... The tin, the shiny V10s, should be 100% on release. That is what I'm hearing. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't bet everything on that because of everything that's happening. But that's what I heard. The only thing that we're getting, uh, should be getting all of, at least at release for those, um, is the, 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 the V10s with the promos. Uh, now, the mini tins are little tiny art things, um, and they release later with the shiny V-boxes. Uh, the mini tins are looking to be like 90 next month, or next next month, so uh, in into March. And then the next uh, month after that, they said like 10%. So we're getting most of the mini tins when they come out in March, but then... There should be more coming after that. That's actually what I got hit the hardest on. I put in pretty big numbers on those, but I got scaled back, uh, you know, almost a quarter of what I asked for. So that's kind of a, the harshest thing I was cut on is, is the mini tins, which is okay because that's the cheapest thing and I don't really care. I was just getting them just because I know they had packs in them. So they'd be easy to, uh, you know, sell if people just wanted a couple packs. Uh, and it makes sense because you would think that when you go to manufacture this product, you want to make the biggest stuff po possible to make the most amount of money. And making those tins and all that stuff, I'll just only put two packs in it and sell it for cheap. It doesn't really make sense. So I understand that. Makes sense to me. And then the big shining V boxes with the promos like the Crobat and the Dragapult, right? Um, they're saying 50-50 on that. So that releases later in March. And then the in April, we should be getting the last half of that as well. So that is what the breakdown is looking like for Shining Fates. Um, again, they're just numbers. They're just estimates. It's what they gave me. So that is what I'm throwing out to you guys to kind of give you expectations. So like I said, ETBs are going into May with the initial allocation that we were given. The numbers that we were given originally. So if you pre-ordered with places like GameStop or Target and in other big box stores and maybe some other bigger places that have hundreds of these coming in. If you weren't in first in line, you know, we could be getting waiting a month or two months or maybe potentially three months before you get your product. So that's something to think about. And um, the way this is being structured, I wouldn't worry about the price being an issue or we're not going to be flooded with this stuff, obviously, because the way that this is rolling out, just there's no chance that the demand is just going to wane enough for it to, for me to have products sitting around. I'm not going to be worried about that. So, yeah, just uh, contact your stores and other people that you pre-ordered with or you did pre-order and make sure that you are getting it early and or maybe if they can figure out what wave you're going to have your stuff in. Um, you can always ask about that. Um, all my guys that I pre-ordered are pre-ordered through me. Um, we're good because I only put up about a third of what uh, the ETBs I had, so... No worries there. We're all good on that front. So, uh, but yeah, a lot of stores are getting very, very limited product and a lot of places um, just getting really chopped up into waves. So that's what we're looking at for that kind of stuff, guys. Uh, that's all I got. That's Shining Fates. You know, it's, it's exciting. We only got, you know, less than a month before it comes out. So, you know, lots of stuff that's probably going to be changing, lots of stuff that we're going to hear more information on. So, Make sure that you guys are keeping up with that stuff. And, you know, if you want to know what's up, uh, like and subscribe because that's how I get motivated to keep doing this stuff. So appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you on the next one, huh?